<laughs> man, I don't know how I ended up slapping somebody on a motorcycle helmet. Oh my, oh, like dude. somebody must have dared me to do it, but I just remember walking up the dude waiting at the light. He had a helmet on, and I was like, "She go by ya." Welcome to another episode of Fuego. Fuego. Yeah. We here, baby. So we got a really special guest. Y'all already see, like, it, it, it's, it's smack back in your face. <laughs> but what we gonna do is allow my brother to introduce himself. Yo, this is Tyson Baker, a.k.a. Tyson Baker, a.k.a. TB the Boss, a.k.a. Mr. Inglewood. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing today? Welcome to Fuego. What's the deal, man? Hey, the, hey, the wood is in here strong. Man, the wood Ingo is in here wood. Yeah, the no, the, oh, no, the mic, the mic, right bring now. the mic closer. Yeah, but yeah. I'll, 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 yeah, I can read Chris. Uh, uh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he said, "How are you new? How are you new? You, you know, I call, I call him, I call him the Suge Knight because you only see him in the background. Yep, the congregation back there. You know? I know he probably got a cigar like sitting somewhere, somewhere. <laughs> you we, know, we we was we was hollering uh, last episode. Um, we was rocking with uh, my boy Cash. Um, we was talking about a fuego. Uh, uh, the, the Fuego Fest that we working on. Yeah, Fuego, Fuego Fest. Fest. So you know, mm -hmm. we, gonna, we we gonna need that Inglewood presence. Oh man, I'm the there. Fuego Fest. I'm waiting on y'all to get there. I'm <laughs> I got there ten minutes early. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even all knew the location already, did hey, you? Hey, come on now. Hey, I was just about to say <laughs> we might have to do that thing in the wood too, hey, bro. I got like spots hey, in the Inglewood. Come on, stop playing, so man. Boy. So let's get down to the nitty of the things, man. All right. How did um. How did you start doing what you're doing, first mm -hmm, off? Mm -hmm. And then how did you connect yourself through the Inglewood brand? Then we'll mm -hmm. talk about how we all family through this brand. Okay. Well, you know what? I will go back. I won't go back to like when I was like a kid. I'll pick the story up when I came to Cali. Because I'm affiliated with Inglewood. I let everybody know that. Inglewood. Top, you Inglewood know in the building, nigga. People ask me, like, are you from Inglewood? Did you go to school in Inglewood? You know what I'm saying? Like where your mama stay? Where your oh, daddy stay? Of all the nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, none of them live in California, first of all. <laughs> um, but, you know, I picked the story up when I came to Cali. I, I came out here in 2011 for a family reunion. And when I came out here, it was like, they took me everywhere. They was just like, cuz, come over here. Come mm -hmm. over here. Mm -hmm. Check out Rodondo Beach. Let's go up to Santa Monica. Let's check out Beverly Hills. He Rodeo lived. Drive. He, he lived. He's seen I California. Lived. I seen California. He's seen LA. And when Ooh. I seen it, Spirit... I was like, this how y'all live? I said, man, I'll be right back. He ain't going back. Where he I went back to the shop, sold my clothes, gave away my car, which is backwards as fuck. Because usually you sell your car and yeah. give away your clothes. Airport, right? you know, I had some fly clothes. I had to get some money up out of that. Airport, I had a little airport. bucket. You know what I'm saying? I just gave him away. I was, okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then I came out here to uh, Cali with two suitcases and a PlayStation 2. Swear to God. Hey. Ooh, the classic PlayStation 2. That, that deserves a sponsor. Uh, product placement. Ooh, PlayStation 2. Leaving that. I came out here with just two, the luggage two, two and you. And a PlayStation, PlayStation 2. 2. And three games. What that games? What games? Oh, I had to have Madden. Oh. Off top. Off you top. Know what I'm I had the staples. I had Madden, Grand Theft Auto, and Need for Speed. Oh, <laughs> man, with him. Yeah. Stop playing. He was driving around with, with that, uh, that Skyline. Yeah, the skyline. That's illegal. Ooh, man, I was <laughs> man, I was riding around in some really illegal stuff in that game, for sure, for sure. I love that. Getting shit. back to the story though, yeah, man, I messed it. around and got into the like the um the the broadcasting industry because I got a job in Hollywood when I first got here. Okay. And I got a job at a little radio station called ARN. And then Oh, I, 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 yes. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, yeah, I got a little yes. job up okay, there. Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. So I'm working right on sunset. I'm thinking I'm living. You know what I'm saying? But like I was like, this ain't gonna get it <laughs> at all. <laughs> at all. Like, so I got me another job working at Noel Jones's church. Oh, okay. uh, I was working at um City of Refuge. One. City of Refuge. Shout right. out to Noel Jones. Shout out to Noel. Bishop, I am so glad. <laughs> That you tuned in for this particular part to watch Fuego. <laughs> <laughs> so I was working at I was working at Bishop, Shout out Bishop uh, man. as a cameraman. Okay. And okay. um that wasn't gonna get it either. So I got another job okay. at ITT Tech as an admissions advisor. Okay. So I saved up all my bread, bought me a car, finally got me a car, which was the same model 
but different year of the car that I gave away. Wow. Damn. It was a, wow. It was a 94 Bonneville that I gave away. When I looked across the street of the crib I was staying in, I stayed on the one. Shout out Gardena. Shout out uh, the right. Shout out the go- Man. Boom. Shotguns. Double barrel. <laughs> so um, I messed around and go across the street. I see the same car. Same color car. <laughs> this one's like a 99, though. I asked the man how much was it. He was like, man, I'm selling it for Wad the Bam. I was like, man, I'll be right back. Like, that took like two weeks to come back, but I was back. <laughs> I came back, bought that car, and then once I bought the car, I moved into my first place. It took me exactly nine months okay. to get out that bunk bed because I was staying with my cousin in the bunk bed. Hey, it happens to Hey, it happens man. To the best hey, look, up, look, I had to downgrade the upgrade. I had to take two steps back to take 14 steps forward. Hey, that's how you, you do, do it. the math. Do it. So, anyway, uh, what I ended up doing is uh, that went on odd job after odd job, just trying to make it, trying to secure myself mm-hmm. here in Cali. Eventually, I messed around and made it to Inglewood in 2014. Mm-hmm. When I got to 2000, when I got to Inglewood in 2014, I'm moving around the city and I met a couple people. But I remember going past this spot that was always closed. It was always closed, but it said Business Lounge. Now, one of my nicknames is T Business, so I've been doing business since T-Biz. I was like 14 years old. Like I was yeah. the dude that was like carrying a briefcase and everything, trying to sell candy, you know, what I'm saying to people and just get that bread. Who the other briefcase? He's yeah. he real professional. Oh yeah, yeah. professional. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah he like didn't even official, know it. Like a referee with a whistle. Wouldn't even know it. So, man, I messed around and knocked on the door. Nobody came to the door, but in the corner it says, "Steve Cotton, call if you have questions." Okay. I called the number. He picks right up. I politic with him for about 15 minutes. He was like, cool. I'll be there in the shop later on this afternoon. He opens up the shop, and sure enough, it's the Inglewood store. Inglewood. Come yes. on now. Wow. The Inglewood store. So he come open up the shop. I meet him up there. Instant connection. Instant, like, you know what I'm saying, understanding. Mm-hmm. Because we're both businessmen and we're both professional. So even though I wasn't introduced to him like through, you know, sports or Pop Warner football, we didn't go to school together, I made the relationship. And that's what I did in the shot. I made the relationships, bro. And then what you do, once you make a relationship, you water the relationship. Nurture that thing. Come on now. And then you eat that fruit. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? That part right there. Did they teach you, did they teach you about Greater Bethany? Greater Bethany? You know what Greater Bethany is, right? I heard of it. Greater Bethany was what City of Refuge was before they went to Gardena. Oh, now they 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 started on on, Ver, on 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 Hoover Hoover, Hoover and, and no the Hoover in Manchester. So oh. they started on Hoover in Manchester. It was called Greater Bethany. That like it, it's wild for you to go for you to mention City of Refuge, bro. Uh-huh. That's 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 a that's powerful. Yeah, that's just that's powerful for your life. You know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? I was and, under and good teaching. Come on now. The, I was under good teaching. So, come on. The growth so, is serious, man. You know, my roots in Inglewood consist of, you know, being that I lived in Inglewood for 10 years. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm the brand manager for the Inglewood Clothing Company. Okay, come on now. Inglewood. Man, we we up to some good, though. Hey, bro. Y'all, look, I'm going to be honest with you. It, it was fucking crazy. So, so, so. Man, it, it was crazy how... How we met, it's crazy how the origin of the brand that you uh um that you rocking with, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying, that you pushing, that that you've made yours, bro, is connected through a, a a a family, a friend and family member of years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like, I'll be honest with you, uh Herbalites, I wore this for a reason. I Oh, Herbalites. The font. Yeah, I, I ran into I ran into Cotton at downtown. We uh we, we was uh, purchasing a bunch of uh materials to be able to you know do what we do with our shit. I mean with our uh, uh product. And um he seen me. He like yeah nigga I, 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 I I've been seeing you. I've been like I've been seeing you too. And I'm like we share the same font. It was like great minds think alike, my young bro. Mm. And I'm like yes we definitely do. Mm-hmm. And it was like to see like um in this city, bro. It's a lot. We we had we talked about that in the last interview. It's a lot of creative people. Oh yeah, absolutely. E- everywhere, right? But we have a really uh, 
a strong, loyal peer group that was like athletic, but not even not even that being the point of it. The 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 training of of learning how to lose together mm-hmm. and how to win together mm-hmm. created some bonds. man some bonds and also some very uh. Strong. Uh, successful, strong businessmen independently mm, yeah. because we we all understood. Um, shout out Coach Cox, man. Uh, shout out Coach Izzy, man. Shout out, shout out all of them. I don't forget what years it was. It was the two thousands or whatever it was, but <laughs> they always taught us to the best you uh-huh. makes the best us. Right. You feel me? So, I, it was crazy how years go by out of high school. You know, we don't got no more connection, nigga. You run back into each other mm-hmm. in a business world. Yeah, in a world where Kind of the strong survive. The people yeah. that know how to network no, for real. For and real. learn from the losses mm-hmm. and get back to it. You feel me? The best you creates the best us. You know, Jesus was just talking about that recently. I seen him on an interview with, uh, I forget the guy's name. It's like, I just got put up on him, but it's uh, all over the internet right now. Like, Jesus just did a video. And shout he out said, shout out Jeezy. And he said in the video that, you know what I'm saying, surviving is what you did in the streets. And if you didn't survive, you get, you know, by the wayside and you end up either dead in jail or caught up in the twist. And he said he just found a way to be able to survive Mm -hmm. in that environment. And he operates in chaos, not because he wants to, but because he had to. Mm -hmm. And some people that that internalize that, they end up messed up on drugs. They end up, you know what I'm saying? Just out there bad. Yeah. Traumatized. Yeah, traumatized. Yeah, traumatized. Yeah, traumatized. Yeah, a lot of trauma comes from that. But those that can be like Teflon and let it bounce off of them seem to be more successful than some of the people that grew up with silver spoons in their mouth. Yes. Wow. Because you're coming from adversity and you end up passing up the people that had the leg up. Yeah. You feel Always. me? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, I thought that was wow, beautiful when he yeah. said that. I was like, "Yo, man, I'm uh, like <laughs> <laughs> that subscribe. part right there, like that one. I might even share it. I right. might, you know what I'm saying? But that that that's the essence of this shit, man. Like that, I, I, I wanted to um, I wanted to tell them, uh, Spirit God, I wanted to to uh, tell you how. So we we met at the shop. I popped up. At, I all right, my story. I grew up not a little tiny piece. Don't get hold of anything. Uh, I went to the facts. I had to leave the facts and I had to go to the wood. Mm-hmm. I was living in the wood, mm-hmm. going to the facts mm. on eucalyptus. So eucalyptus. I grew up Shout on, out eucalyptus. I grew up, I grew up on eucalyptus and and Plymouth up the hill. Okay. So I had to go to school. I had to walk to Inglewood and all that shit. But when I, but mind you, like I said, I went to the facts first and I lived on eucalyptus. So I had mm-hmm. to walk to the bus. To get to, to the facts. Then when, mm-hmm. I, when I had to leave the facts and go to the wood, I ended up having to walk to the wood from there. So to see a friend and a family member, uh, a, a, a friend that has turned into a family member, beat, and, and mind you, that bus ride, I start learning who else lived in the wood. Mm-hmm. Cotton lived in the wood. The homie mm-hmm. Allen lived in the wood. A few other people lived in the wood. You feel me? So it was like, all right. All right, I ain't over here alone type shit. Yeah. You feel me? I got to switch schools and shit, but them niggas is still like, you know, a door. A, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. A door knock away. So, like I said, to go on with life and then see my boy start a business right on the block I grew up. Mm-hmm. Bro, it was kind of like, what the fuck? I got to go. So, I'm like, I was upset that I was like, bro, it took me so long to come in this motherfucker. But I come in, I met my brother. He gave me extreme, extremely... Dope energy, you feel me? When I yeah. walked in, you feel me? It was just like I'm all out of bad energy. Bro, it, <laughs> yeah, I'm, gl- I'm glad it, it was. It was. It was embracing. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, it made me feel like um, this is where I need to be. I'm accepted here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Man, I want to spend some money here. Man, I want to bring some more people here. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So, mm-hmm. um, and see, that's that's the thing. That's why you know Cotton uh, put me into this role. Yeah. Because yeah. you know the face of the brand. Is the first thing that people see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like a logo is just a logo. A brand is just a brand mm-hmm. unless it has a story behind it. That part, that part. So a brand is a logo with a story behind it. Yeah. You feel what I'm talking about? Yes. So if the story that you get from the brand is I met somebody that was wearing an Inglewood shirt that was passing out turkeys and giving everybody high fives, that's your connection to the Inglewood brand. 
so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to go out and, and spread as much love, positivity, productivity out there in the streets as we possibly can to change the imagery that we have of the old Inglewood up to no good. Come on, oh, wow, okay. come on now. We up to good over there right, now. Right, Inglewood, we doing man, some good. Man, that part right there, man. Mm -hmm. So, man, um, it was uh, it was another. Oh, what I want to say was okay. We met that day at the shop. I seen you. I seen you again that night. Yeah. At the Nova. Shout out to uh, Jay Perico. G, G, G Perico. Yep. Shout out. Um, uh, Ruchi, 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 yeah. motherfucking Ruchi. Uh, Y'all knew he was in like, Eaglewood, so Eaglewood was. Hey, Ruchi, you still gotta come get your hoodie, man. <laughs> okay, come through, Ruchi. I'm gonna text hoodie, and call you about this hoodie, man. You got a free Inglewood hoodie coming, man. Come hey, pick up your merch. It, it was crazy how I seen you come from. I seen you come from the backstage area with, yeah. with a camera and all type of shit. I'm with. I'm with the congregation. Shout out Shug. Man, shout out Bash. We, yeah. we in that motherfucker. We turned up. Yeah. Nigga, he walked by. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't, but, hey, bro, wait what? a minute. I'm like, no. Inglewood? He like. I turned around like it was my name. Like he said, Tyson Bates. Inglewood? I said. Wood, I turned around. I was like, what up? Is that like, Tyson? That, that is not Tyson. Inglewood? Uh, like, uh, but yeah, so we if we in the club. I see him. I'm like, this the second time I see you, Tom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is what I need you to do. The third time I see you, we need to be at Fuego. Woo, 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 yeah. woo, right? So he's like, all right, all right, I hear you. I'm like, right. And I didn't know what Fuego was at the time. Like, I, I didn't know the what club, nigga. Was. Nigga don't know what's up. I'm trying to point out the team. They everywhere else. I'm I walk like, away like, that nigga cool. Drunk <laughs> as fuck, but that nigga cool. <laughs> I'm like, man, it's crazy. So the third time we ended up meeting again was, where was that? Uh, uh, LA Live. LA Live. Yeah, so LA Live. Yeah, LA Live. So it was like, God damn it, man. Okay, we're going to make the fourth time. Yep, the so charm. then I, I followed up with him yeah. like the, like maybe like the next day or like two days later or whatever. And uh, it was like early in the morning, man. We just chopping it up and everything. He was like, man, I got a, uh, I got a uh, podcast and it's called Fuego. I said, word? You got a podcast? I was like, man, I actually make podcasts. Come on now. Because I've been doing podcasts since like 2013, before they was hot. Ooh, okay. okay. I had a podcast called Inspirational Gospel Radio. We just called it IGR. We used to mix inspirational songs with gospel songs. And then we used to have like what was called an e-mix. We mix up, uh, we'll like mash up like, like a public speaker, like Martin Luther King and like Drake the Beat. Oh yeah, that's, that's hard. Crazy. That's so hard. we'll play that, that on the show. Crazy, I, I'll bro. still make those. I think I got like thirty of them joints. You know, what I got enough for like a whole album. It's to, hey, it's it's time to go to work. Y'all heard him. <clears throat> it's, time it's time to go to work. So um yeah, we was chopping it up, and he told me about the show Fuego, and I immediately was like, all right, cool. I hit you right back. I'm gonna check out the show. I check out the show. It is Fuego. You know what I'm saying? And we lit, it's fire. We lit. And lit. I like I like the 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 imagery of it all because I've been in media for like twenty years. Yeah. So because I've been in media so long, I've seen the evolution of media, and I know what I like. I know what it looks good, mm -hmm. and the show looks good. Hey, thank hey. you. Appreciate it. Yeah, I was yeah. about to say, bro, appreciate we really it. appreciate you because that um a lot of a lot a lot. Thank you to the fans, everybody that tapped in. A lot of the episodes that we've shot were actually at a different studio. Oh, you are in a new studio right now. We've so this upgraded. is new, new. This is mm. totally like different. That bitch from ATL. Hey, new. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, Nunu. shout out Atlanta, man. We love you, Atlanta, man. Shout out, uh, shout out, uh, Nunu. Nunu. Shout out, hey, I know, real life. Shout out, Lauren, man. Stay strong, baby. Stay strong, Keep, baby keep girl. raising them kids. Yep. Um, like real talk, man. I, I, just, I just once again, like I said, man, I appreciate you for coming because this shit is um, this shit is long been in the making. Yeah. First to, to work with with the whole Inglewood organization, uh -huh, uh -huh. The, the the camaraderie and the friend and the brother that we have met in you is yeah. amazing. You know man, what I'm saying? I appreciate saying? that, man. That's much, um, much, much love. Nothing but much love. We gonna we gonna build and nurture that relationship. Oh, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolution. So, um, Spirit God. Spirit man. God. Yes, sir. T tell my boy, uh, like talk to my boy, man. Like, man. like, man. <laughs> man, you been, you been, tell, you been holding it down, yeah, man. You know, man. Man. You know I'm, I'm, when I say I'm long winded, man. I'm true to this. Uh, yeah, I'm holding it you know. down. <laughs> Shit, man. Uh, so you said, continue on with your story. Oh yeah. So um, yeah. Fast forward from 2014 to when I met Steve. 
um, I was just coming to the store mm-hmm. a lot because I'm an entrepreneur. Come so on, I, ain't, I ain't keeping no regular, you know, hours nine entrepreneur to five. pro Negro. I'm an entrepreneur Negro. <laughs> so um, I would come chill in the store. Sometimes I bring my laptop. I'd be in there working. And we would just spitball ideas. We would just throw ideas out there. And I'd be like, like tell him, like, no, nah, Steve, what you need to do is this. Oh, man, what you need to do is that. And he'd be like, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, so, okay. So, okay, um, okay, okay, okay. you know what I'm saying? We got, we got a chance to really know each other mm-hmm. over the past, like, three years. Okay. So, over the past three years, we actually got a chance to, to really understand... Um, who each other is. Mm. And we're always constantly evolving, mm-hmm. but that is important to build a relationship off of friendship. Yeah, yeah. You know, because I consider Steve a friend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So once I got to the point where I even got him uh, into another gig and then they fired me. And it was funny because I got him in there and then he was like, he was like, I'm in there. Yeah, I'm like, for wild. real? Wild. And like, I, I think like a month later, like two it months happens later, like that. Let's see. they gave me a severance package and let me go. Oh. Guess who gave me a job? Steve Cotton. Stop playing, like, man. He, he was like, man, I need somebody to watch the store. I want you to come up there. And then uh, what happened was we sat down one day. He was like, man, I need help, TB. I need help with... This brand shit, I've been doing this for nine years. I done took it as far as I can take it. Man. And it was, I was like, man, say less. I've been waiting work. for the opportunity. Go to work. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to work. So he hired me as a brand manager, uh-huh. and I went to work. Come on so now. All I do is just, all I do is expand the brand, expand the vision. So basically, he made you an ambassador. Yeah, I'm like the ambassador. Like, he's, like, he's like the so head I was ambassador. A, I was bro. a brand ambassador before I was a brand manager. Because I was buying the clothes like yeah. heavy. I would come in there every Friday like, come on, let's get fresh. And I would go buy the clothes, and then I, people would see me with the Inglewood gear on all the time, and I would just point them to Steve. I'd be like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, you need to holler at Steve. You need to holler at Steve. And then... Eventually, it got to the point where people was calling me like, you know what I'm saying, Inglewood, Mr. Inglewood, you know what I'm saying, like that. Inglewood, and Mr. Was, Wood. Mr. Wood. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, man, I'm, I mean, I'm appreciative. Shout out to Steve, you know, for giving me the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wood, you know what I'm saying? Boss. But hey, you got to, you got, I got Nestle. the woods and I lay the wood. <laughs> <laughs> he said Nestle bars. <laughs> Nestle <laughs> bars. Hey, hey, shout out Inglewood, man. I, yeah, I, I man. can't, I can't, I can't, I, 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 I could go into the stories, but bro, up that hill. Oh yeah. Oh my yeah. God, down that hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot going on. That's a lot going on in South Inglewood, North Inglewood. Man. man, North Inglewood. Oh my God. Yeah. It's world famous. Shout out to the world famous niggas, man. North North yeah. Inglewood is not North Inglewood is right there, right? Like North Inglewood is like right anything there. north of Manchester, yeah. like where where Plymouth is. That's like that's like the North Inglewood, right? Mm-hmm. Like, right, right? Yeah, anything north of Manchester yeah. is North Inglewood. Anything like from Manchester south is like south central world. to South Inglewood. No, 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 North like, Inglewood is like Ladera. Like, yeah, north, Northwest. N- n- yeah, yeah, that's that's. That's, yeah. yeah, that's Northwest Inglewood. Then mm-hmm. North South Inglewood would be like Sentinella Park. This nigga just you know said North saying? South. Yeah, I'm over here <laughs> like, how did that combine? Yeah. My I'm bad. Here, my, North took this shit. North right East. Out of my, I'm over here. How do you combine North and South <laughs> like that? I'm like, that, South what? Inglewood is. I'm like, damn. Fuego, <laughs> man. You know, my bad. I didn't. Even, did, did you want a shot? No, no, I don't drink. Yeah, okay, for sure. Yeah, I want I'm to make good. I'm shot it up. I'm at shot o'clock. Ooh, ooh, shot o'clock. Like, it's, a lot, it's a lot been going on. I'm sorry. You so. say that. I like that when people say that because I really want to know, like, is it religious beliefs or oh. is it something personal, like health-wise? Or, no. Or shot o'clock. I mean, like, nigga, what? that should be deep when a nigga be like, I don't drink. Yeah. Because the whole world drink. Man, uh, so going with that, man, you have like any... Any uh, drinking stories that made you that led you up to this point? Uh, no, I mean, I mean, I don't drink now because it's a choice. Okay, because I know myself. It's okay, okay. thy own self be that true. Is what it says. You know what I'm saying? So you got to thy own self be true. Self and what you, you can be one of them type of people that uh, drink get a little a little wild. 
Uh, no, actually, I don't. Oh, whoa. Really, I w- I'm wild on a Thursday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's natural. It's a natural thing, I'm man. A natural wild nigga. Like, straight up. Like, you ask anybody that know me from the shy, TB was a wild nigga. Like, okay, I'm more okay. reserved now that I got some salt and pepper in my beard. Okay, okay, yeah, boy. Okay, okay. Like, you gotta get mature, right? The wisdom. But yeah. the wisdom thing and growth. Is that in the past, uh, I noticed that. Alcohol used to make my stomach hurt. Okay. And then it would dim my light. Yeah, definitely. Especially brown liquor. Yeah. Brown liquor would make yeah. me very uh, depressed, actually. Oh, wow. It's a, yeah. it's a depressant. It is, though. It is. So some people are usually, it's, and the thing is, is, it does the opposite for some people because they're already depressed. Mm-hmm. So it yeah. makes them turn <laughs> up. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. But for oh, me, I'm shit. already turned up. I'm stuck up. You know what I'm saying? I'm stuck on up. So like, yeah, I heard that drink, voice that I'm stuck. It at, brings bro. down my natural high, yeah, and I don't sense, like that. Yeah. So that's why I don't like to drink because it brings down my natural high. I like to stay on a high frequency, mm. and I like to have high level conversations. Yes. And yeah. when you drinking, for me, when you drinking, it's tougher to have high level conversations because you get to slurring, you forget what you about to say. You forgot what you said. You for real, like, for real. Be like maybe 24, 25 or whatever like that. Shout out to the 20 year olds. Yeah, 25, what were you drinking? Order. Oh man, I was drinking uh, everything at night. I remember I had <laughs> me a, a Long Island iced tea in like four Ooh, different glasses. It'll like, fuck you up in Long Island. Yeah, ain't no joke. You, you didn't catch that. It was Long Island tea in four different glasses. That means I had rum, I had some, some uh, what's that called? Uh, Patron. I had vodka, a whole lot of vodka. I think that's what did it, actually, the vodka. And then somebody told me that night, you're not supposed to mix brown liquor with, with clear liquor. Woo! That part. I didn't know, Spirit God. I didn't know. <laughs> so, yeah, you, don't do the, you don't do the mixing like man, that. Next thing I know, I look like I was in a Spike Lee movie. You know, when they be moving... <laughs> And it's just like the, they be on a they be on a uh, everything going by yeah everything going not. by and I'm just like la di da <laughs> and man I don't know how I ended up slapping somebody on a motorcycle helmet oh, no. oh, like yeah. somebody must have dared me to do it but I just remember walking up to do waiting at the light he had a helmet on. And I was like, Shikabaya! It just sounded like it hurt you more than it hurt him. Right, <laughs> right. But I was drunk. I didn't feel it. I didn't Damn. feel it. Damn. But after that, man, I think it was like, I think it was like shortly after that, I was just like left no, alcohol this, alone. This ain't it. Yeah, this, this ain't, ain't it. Because if I'm it. out here wilding in the streets it. like this, this ain't for me. Man, I ain't going to lie, bro. I yeah. heard. I heard. No, my bad, but like, like that, I want a man could congratulate and. and Man, man, he was able to learn that. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, like, most people don't do that. No, like, they just man, keep making the same shit, mistakes. I'm going to keep doing that shit. I'm going to still act a fool. I'm going to be mm-hmm. doing this. And next thing you know, they got all types of DUIs, all in jail and all types oh, of crazy bro. Yeah. shit, bro. At least That's he was able to, 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 to be disciplined oh, and control. It hurts. Yeah. Like, yeah. That ain't it. That ain't I it. That, now, that ain't it. Mm-hmm. That, look, it's, he said it. It's about being responsible, man. Yeah. As soon as you That's what get they say, gamble responsibly, drink responsibly, everything uh, responsibly. Fuck responsibly. <laughs> that part rubber, right? Come on now. Just be responsible. Yeah, That's asking what you, you to be responsible. That's it's not shit. hard. That shit. Str- <laughs> hey, I'm a real one. Y'all gonna see. Responsible. responsible. <laughs> like they teach you to learn responsibly. Like, like, bro, we're trying to teach you how to survive in our society. A lot. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you, right? Because I'm because. I, I don't want to say, shit, I'm a natural born rebel. That shit ain't even, it wasn't nothing that I, like, I tried to do. Like I remember going to ele- from elementary down, all that just always rambunctious, in trouble, all type of shit, right? But if you understand that we're in a society, there, this is a particular society. Okay. You have to learn the curriculum of this society to be successful in this society. So most people... You know, they try to go against the grain. That, that's basically what it is. When you commit all these crimes and you do everything against the way society has taught us, you're going against the grain. You're losing more time on being able being to be successful in society. So you get to an age where you go, man, it's time to mature. All your maturity 
is just going backwards. Doing uh, everything a motherfucker saying, yeah. told you to do in mm-hmm. the beginning. Mm-hmm. Was keep good credit. Finish school. Go get... School is just... You... Listen, kids. Listen to what I'm telling you. School is about you committing to a year, to two, to three, to four, to something that you want to commit to. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. Teach Public discipline. service announcement right now. That's it. Network. If you're, if you're a kid, you're a teenager, you're watching this right now, I want you to get real close to your phone. I want you to hear me well. Don't go to college. Unless hey. you know what you want to do with your life. Thank you. I'm glad you you're going to save a whole lot of money mm-hmm. if you just go to YouTube University. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube University. <laughs> I'm for real Honestly. with you. If you don't know what you want to do with your life, don't go to college. Yeah, don't. Because you're going to waste your time. You're going to waste your money. You're going to take a whole lot of classes that you ain't going to never use, never need. All right. So, so I just say that to, you know, that's just free yeah. game right there. Learn how to do this shit the right way. You feel me? Yeah. So. If you going if you are gonna embark on going to college, just know what you want to do, man. Because this society has trained us to have a place to go to learn what it is that you want to do. <laughs> so True. you know, like you, you don't want to go there. Yeah, right. If you if you like, respect to the rappers, respect to everybody that we're looking up to. But if there is no blueprint to how to get there, there's a blueprint to get somewhere else. God damn it. Go use that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Be, and then be able to build your own blueprint. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, um, even if it's trade school. Yeah, shit. Yeah, trade having, school is good. Like, you learn a trade in like six months, man, eight months. You get a skill. That's what you get a skill. You know? Skills. And it's a lot of talented people out there that don't hone their skills. They don't, they don't seek to learn more about what they're naturally gifted at. That part. Ooh. That part. So if you naturally gifted at something, say friends, you naturally gifted at just yeah dunking on people. But you go study the art of dunking. You go watch dunk contests. You go understand the dynamics of certain shoes and all of that. Then you become a champion because now you mix natural talent with built skill and you put it together and you become a champion. That part. And we from the city of champions, so I know the recipe. Come on now. That's... That's really what it is, Ooh, man. that recipe for y'all. So, yeah. uh, you know. Mind that part. Yeah. It's, it's, it's getting real. So, you know, we we, we come into, you know, the, the, the heading of the closing of the, of, of the show. What I wanted to do, bro, before we go, though, is we we we, we see that you brought us a, oh, yeah. a, a, a Inglewood piece. Oh, yeah. Is, is, there, is there anything significant about Church this piece? Fire. This shirt well, thank you, shirt thank you, fire. thank you. Well, what we did with this particular collection of shirt is we wanted to get to the roots of our culture. Okay. So, you culture. know, there's a lot Start of, the um, you know, it's, it's black, red, and green, which um, has the, the, the significance of Africa, Jamaica, Jamaica, and then it's got the fist in the middle for power, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, power to the people. Yeah, Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Come so on now, come on the power now. Power to the people is is not just black. That part. You know what I'm saying? It's brown. That, come on you now. You feel me? It's black and brown. It's anybody that's melanated. Okay, okay. You feel me? And it's like, you have so many different cultures out there that are, that are in California. It's like a melting pot. Yeah. Right? But we, we can't all identify with one particular race because somebody else might be mixed with, your brother might be mixed with Filipino. You know what I'm saying? So now what? Yeah. You have black. Yeah. But we can unite under this. Five fingers together make a fist. That part. You see what I'm saying? So that's what this shirt represents. The five fingers coming together, all the boroughs, all the hoods, all the neighborhoods, all the people that have in their mind and their heart to see the kingdom come. Come on now. Hey, bro. Okay, okay. That was fucking fire. That was fucking flame, nigga. Man, because, thank you. Nigga, every, to God be the glory. To God be the glory, man. I, I was driving here yesterday, and that's what God said to me. I be, because I, you know, God forgive me. I do a lot of different things where I be like, where I, 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 right when I do it, I ask for forgiveness type shit, right? Mm-hmm. And what God told me, he was like, look, bro, just make sure you give me the glory. Yes. So, so all, all all of what I do and what how you gonna judge me? Go ahead. That's your opinion to do so. But I know it's only one person that judged me. So 
I'm going to do what I do. And me and him going to talk about it later, nigga. Yep. And we going to be good because you know who I'm giving the glory to? The nigga creator. Nigga really got me. You feel me? Creator. So, so I, we want to we do something I just want to cool. tell you like, what's, what I got next. Do I have time oh. for that? We got time. We, we, we got to... We, what we do here at the Fuego Show, mm-hmm. we, we give out gifts too. Oh, word? You feel me? So you brought us some. Yeah. We want to just shoot you some. Yeah. Congregation, can something come from the sky? Ooh. Oh, man, come on. And that's for you. And it says, Fuego. it is Fuego. It's, it, what do we say? Can we, can we get it on, on the three? It's Fuego. One, two, three. Fuego. Fuego. That part right there. Yep, so I appreciate the shirt, man. On, I'm gonna definitely wear it with pride. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna sleep in it, I ain't gonna work out in it. Don't don't do that. <laughs> you gotta make sure you gotta wear that, wear that, wear that out somewhere before you I'm do that. It out somewhere I, before you work out on it, you know? Yes, they gonna they go, they're gonna be like, well, you was on what, Ooh, I like what, the sleeve. What are you doing? Is you was on a show? Look, zoom yeah, in was on, on that. the show. Look at the sleeve. Come nice. on, stop playing, man. We wear Where this go? shit. All right, man, Mr. Inglewood, man, what you got going next, man? What you, what, 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 oh, man, Woo. 2024, I'm already in the summer. Oh, you already ready, huh? Woo. I'm already in the he's summer. Re- he's it's June right now, mentally. Hey, Even summertime. This may, this summer, summer, air, summertime. Air in the wintertime, but I'm already in the summertime. Come on, man. You I'm got working it. out every day. I'm trying to Come sex my now. frame up, step my game up, you know what I'm saying? Fellas. Work on the core, baby. Man, work on that That's, core. Just keep, work physically. Man, keep it together. You got to keep it together, man. Get ready for the summer. You got to get ready for that summer. And hey. you just want to be physically fit. Yeah, but you just want to be healthy. What I got coming up is the Inglewood Summer Concert Series. Okay. The concert series? Yes. So the, what's, what, what, what's what need to well, do? Well, you know what? Just like a movie, I mean like a TV show has a series, uh-huh. it's going to be four concerts in the summer. And each one of them is going to be... Totally themed out. So that's four on, months. Yes, four months. He so it's going to be going nice from time. Memorial Day to Labor Day. Okay. okay. And it's going to be every fourth Saturday starting in June after Juneteenth. So the Saturday after Juneteenth. Shout out Juneteenth, baby. Yep, shout out Juneteenth, which I believe is the 19th. And then after that, that Saturday, which is the 20, 21st or 22nd. So whatever the Saturday is after Juneteenth, every fourth Saturday after that, we're going to be doing the Inglewood Summer Concert Series. It's going to be acts that are going to be off the chain. You can't believe it's going to be in Inglewood. And we're going to have movie nights for adults, movie nights for kids, movie nights for seniors. So for seniors, we're going to be playing like Uptown Saturday Night and... um, the spook that sat by the door. Them old classic. Them old classic movies old classic. from like the 70s, the black exploitation. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm coming to participate. That's all I got to say. Oh, man, you got to be I'm, there. I'm, you got to vo- be there. I'm, I'm I ain't volunteering even done. my time, and we're going to make sure we got a Fuego and an Herbalite booth there. You feel man, me? Man, we That's definitely what gonna it is. We gonna be lock there. in on that we, because we there's going to be, there. be themed. It's going to be a themed event. So one uh, in June, it's going to be all about job readiness. Come on now. So we're going to do interviews on the spot. We're going to wow, do interview training. We're going to teach you how to use your uh, computer to create a resume. Come on now. And then we're going to have people there that's going to be giving out all types of resources. And then in July, we're going to do entrepreneurship. Oh, so man. everything entrepreneurship, how to get your business funded, Come on. how to get a business bank account, Come on. how to get your EIN number, Come on. how to get your LLC, Come and on. if you don't know like what the numbers and letters man. are, we're going to figure that out at the festival. You see what I'm saying? He right said, Inglewood up to something good. Inglewood up to something good. Come, y'all better tap in. Stop. Tap in. Man, tap in. For hey, real, though. I can't believe... Like, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. So outside of this, what I be doing, I rock with a lot of grassroots. Mm-hmm. I'm an I'm a organizer. Mm-hmm. I'm here for my people, for the yes, community, me man. me too. And that, that's what it's about. It, being able to open up our platforms yes. so that we can actually help people. Yes. Giving them substance, giving them content that's going to be able to get them to the next level. Absolutely. That's and that's, what, that's what it's all about. So then in August, we're going to do backpack giveaways. So we're going to give away a 1,000 backpacks, packed full of school supplies. And then in, in the booths out in the park, the booths are going to be 
services that parents and kids need, like tutoring, child care, karate, taekwondo, Ooh. all of the different things that kids can do. Football, we're going to see if we get Snoop uh, special stars out there to get a booth. Shout out to man. Snoop and special Shout stars. Shout out Squiddy, man. Squiddy, man. We're going to have you up in here soon, man. Them boys uh, about to bring that, bring, that, bring that trophy home, boy. boy. Shout out to the hub. So it's gonna be it's gonna be lit and it's gonna be at CPT. Edward Vincent Park starting the first the the Saturday after Juneteenth in 2024. Okay. So we're gonna have a pool party. We're gonna have uh, the stage is gonna be sponsored. It's gonna be free if you register or if you come with a flyer. Okay. So if you come with a flyer and you register, you get in for free. If not, it's only a dub. But that's not a lot to pay for all the things that you're going to get for nah, free. no, dub. You know what I'm saying? A dub to have your kids come for a day of fun. Dub is like a dollar now, boy. You it is. You can't even get no groceries at we, uh, Ralph's for We going to be now. there and we going to be lit, boy. Yeah. You know so what I'm everybody, definitely um, check me out. Make sure that you go to Inglewoods.LA for more information. That's Inglewoods with the S dot L-A. And find out about the Inglewood Summer Concert Series. Right now, it's in the incubator stage. We have a few people on board. But by the time this episode come out, when you go to the website, you'll be able to see all the information that you need. You'll be able to register. And you'll be able to get in that thing and turn up. T-I-U. T-I-U. <laughs> Me and you. Hey. Shout out to all my N H. This nigga here. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey. Um, shout out to all the Inglewoodians, man. Yes. We gonna be seeing y'all real soon. Yes. Y'all tune into this episode. Yes. We didn't had a real one come through. Spirit God. Yes, sir. I got one question for you. Yes. What is it? He brought a white T-shirt and a black one. Uh huh. Which one do you want? Both. <laughs> see, he ain't, see, he ain't shit, y'all. But shit, you know, both. you know what I'm gonna do. I'm what just gonna go to the shop. You can have both of them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come cop. You some new come. Shit, you okay? know where the source is. <laughs> I'm coming to buy some you new shit. Okay, love. let's go get it. You, we connected it at the bottom like the letter V. <laughs> man, oh, what? the store is on Plymouth and La Brea. Oh, man. so if you want to come down to the Inglewood store, Woodians. it's on Plymouth and La Brea, right next to Ralph's. Right above where Zara's bookstore used to be, right above the Inglewood mural. The address is 904 North La Brea or 901 North La Brea. The whole building is just popping right now. We got two homemades down there. We got the social sticks in there. Is that we food got, um, yeah, that's food. What yeah, food two homemades. Two homemades. Yeah, hey, it's like fire. It's like upscale soul food. But it's fire, though. Fire. Like, so, hey, tell them Tyson Baker told you to try the lamb Tyson. egg rolls. Tyson Ooh, sent me. Lamb egg rolls. Tyson that's sent me. Fire already. Tyson sent I do Tyson push ups. That, that'll get the you right. Yeah, they'll get you right. They'll get you right. Right. But yeah, it's right there on Plymouth and La Brea. We open Thursday through Sunday. So basically the weekends, because everything is done online. Okay. But we like people to have that that place to go, to have that that old school feeling of being yes. able to feel the clothes before you buy them, try them on. I just had a vision yeah. of, of, of all of the, the elevation that this Inglewood store and brand is going to be going through. I just seen... Oh, yeah. I just seen... A whole new development of Plymouth and uh in La Brea right now and mm -hmm. all because of of the launching power of this Inglewood brand. Yes. So we we Well, we you know it's in me, things. not on me. It's to say it again, man. And it's say, in me, not on me. Say it again, man. It's in me, not on me. He came out here and got right, right? Yes. It's in me, not on me. The, Welcome home. Man, I appreciate it. Welcome man, home. We're my bunk. Yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real nigga, man. man so I appreciate y'all having the me bunk. on the show. Man, yeah, we gonna um we're gonna end up wrapping it up. This has been another episode of what? Wiggle. One more time. This is another episode of what? Fuego. And we out this bitch. Fuego. She can fire. It's just yeah. a